I put together a list of things that just drive me crazy. Like one up here, you can't say mom and dad anymore because some people might come from a family where there are two dads or two moms. And they said, you can't, because you, we don't want a letter coming from school that says, dear mom and dad. Did you ever get a letter that said, dear mom and dad? Of course not. We don't have enough problems. We've got to think about that. You can no longer say America is the land of opportunity because some people don't feel like it's the land of opportunity. Is it just me? In fact, you can't even say America. I'm not kidding. You can't say America because that implies that America is better than the other countries in the Americas. You can't say tone deaf. You can't say blackout or brainstorm. This is considered racist. We're gonna have a brainstorming session that would offend people that have brain injuries. You can't say peanut gallery. Are we offending peanuts? <laughs> when you're talking about a car, you can't say, well, it's got a blind spot. Because that offends people that are unsighted. I thought they were blind. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they know they're blind because they can't see. I'm not judging them, they just are. People have too much time on their hands. And so we now have to look at people that have said, well, since we can't say that, we'll tell you what you can say. And so they've come up with inclusive alternatives to this, like unschooled. These are stupid people. <laughs> You can't say minorities anymore, so these are historically excluded. You can't say, let's brown bag it today. Like bring your lunch in a brown bag. You can't say that anymore. That's from the University of Washington. I, I kid you not, they have a list of things that you can't say. So what they say is lunch and learn. Unintentionally at leisure. You ain't got a job. <laughs> so you're unintentionally at leisure. Does anybody want to guess what people who menstruate are? <laughs> the National Institute of Health, instead of calling someone a woman, they're birthing people. Now I can just imagine calling Robin a birthing person. <laughs> The Lancet says bodies with vaginas instead of women. Oh, that's... Now, doesn't that seem dehumanizing? Yes. Calling somebody a body with a vagina?